Have you ever been bullied? Have you ever seen someone being bullied, like a friend or a brother or a sister or just someone at school? Have you ever participated in being bullied? Have you ever just stood there and done nothing while someone was being bullied? Have you ever felt scared when someone was being bullied and thankful that you want the, the victim this time? Have you ever just felt hopeless like there was nothing you could do to help someone? In the United States, one out of four children will be bullied by another kid in school this month. 160,000 kids won't even come to school today because they are afraid of being bullied. Today, 100,000 children in the U.S. will carry a gun to school. Let's face it, we have all either been a victim of bullying, been a bully, or at least have seen bullying in our lifetime at school. The only way it will stop is if all people, adults and students, are educated about bullying and come together as a caring community to act in positive ways and help others. We, the students of Ford Elementary School, decided that bullying at our school had to stop. This video is about teaching you how to recognize bullying, understand the makeup of bullying, and give you some skills to stop bullying. We will teach you about six easy steps called Ha Ha So, which stands for help, assert yourself, humor, avoid, self-talk, and own it. All of which can prevent a bully situation and create a safer environment at your school. We did it, and in just one year, we decreased office referrals by 44%, increased reported safety of our students by 30% in the highest attendance rate in 10 years. Truth. We found that it's cooler to create a safer environment than to give in to bullying. What exactly is bullying? Is bullying harassment, intimidation, or even lack of respect? All of these are forms of bullying. The actual definition is, a person is being bullied or victimized when he or she is exposed repeatedly and over time to negative actions on the part of one or more person. There are five key elements of bullying. Number one, a victim has repeated exposure over time to negative actions. Number two, an imbalance of power. The victim has trouble defending themselves. Number three, the situation is intentional or a bully uses power to hurt another person. Number four, the bully becomes emotional, including yelling, withdrawal, or being afraid. Number five, Finally, the bully feels no remorse. They think the victim deserved being bullied due to the victim being weak. So why does a person become a bully? Easy. To gain power, they want to feel in control of everyone and everything. To gain popularity and attention. They want to copy what someone else does who they admire. They have an inflated self-esteem. They think they are bigger and better than everyone else, when in reality, they are not. There are seven ways that kids bully. They are physical aggression. This is when they hit you, kick you, trip you, destroy your things, or even spit on you. Social aggression. This is when they spread rumors about you, don't let you play, or give you the silent treatment like they don't even see you. Verbal aggression. This is when they call you names, tease you, threaten, to hurt you or even call you at home with threatening phone calls. Intimidation. This is when they play a dirty trick on you, try to get you to do things that you don't want to do by threatening to hurt you or they threaten to beat you up if you don't give them your lunch money. Written aggression. Here is when they write nasty notes about you, slam books at you, draw ugly pictures of you, or even send emails out telling lies about you. Sexual harassment. This is where someone makes comments about your body parts, 
touch you in places you do not want to be touched, grab at you, and tell dirty jokes about you. Racial harassment. This is where they make fun of your skin color, make fun of your family culture, and make comments about your race, which makes you feel uncomfortable. Hi, Joey. I'm going to go down the slide with Aaliyah, okay? All right. Aaliyah, what did you do last night? Play hey. video game. I heard you were talking about me, punk. Where do you think you're going? Yeah. Away? We still have a bone to pick with her. Yeah, I have a reputation to follow. I'm not going to have you going around talking about me. I, I don't want my brother to think I'm a wuss and my mom to get me in trouble because I got beat up. I don't care if you're a wuss. I don't care if you get in trouble. Can you go away? Cause no, I'm make afraid. me. Make me. Help me to seek assistance from an adult, friend, or peer when a potentially threatening situation arises. You should always seek help also if other strategies are not working and you are afraid you'll be physically hurt. Ways to get help include leaving a note for a teacher, asking for your friends for help, asking for adults for help, and telling your parents. Let's see how these kids use help as a group to help a classmate. Let's go see what's going on. Come on. Hey, Kenya, what's going on? What's happening? They're being bullies. Are you okay? You're not hurt or anything? Okay. What are you, excuse me, what are you guys doing? Just we were a just, little talk. A little talk? I don't think that's talking when he looks scared. All right, he's upset. I'm First, I'm glad he's okay, but you guys are needing to stop and think so we don't allow bullying here. You're making him afraid and uncomfortable. So you will have to think about it while you serve detention. Oh, this is the third time this week for all of us. Hey guys, could I play with you? No, you're such a wimp. No, you're a weirdo and we don't play with weirdos. Besides, we'll squish you like a buck. Yes, shrimp. Assert yourself. To use assert yourself, you make strong statements to the bully addressing your feelings about the bully's behavior. How do you use assert yourself? The victim should look the bully straight in the eye when asserting themselves and stand tall. Use an I statement like I don't like it when you pull on my backpack. Make the statement, then walk away. Now let's see how our group used Assert Yourself to stop a bully situation. That Remember when you let go of the rubber band, that jawbreaker detector flew everywhere, and then Jimmy Bye. scratched it. Hey guys, could I play with you? No, you're a weirdo, and we don't play with weirdos. Yeah, shrimp. I don't like it when you say things like that to me. It's simple, I can play baseball. Yeah, so stop bullying him when he doesn't like it. You know, so you guys can please stop. And don't say bad things about him. Come on, Jacob. Hey, Jacob, I dare you guys to go over there and call those little kids chickens. chickens. No. No. Why, are you guys, you guys the chickens? Chickens. No. chickens. 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 Humor. You can use humor to de-escalate a situation. However, it should only be used in a positive way. Using humor means that you make a joke about what the bully said, not about the bully. Remember that you never use humor if you are in fear of being hurt, and also, when you use humor, you just walk away. Using humor can de-escalate a bully and make them realize that you are cool. Also, that you are not intimidated by them. An example, when insulted by hairstyles, say, gee, I didn't know you cared enough to notice, thanks. Let's see how the group uses humor to de-escalate the situation. I dare you guys to go over there and call those little kids chickens. 
No. No. Why are you guys, you guys chickens? chickens? No. <laughs> chicken. 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 Why did this Why did skeleton the skeleton cross the road? No, no, no. I don't. Because because I had to get to the other side. Why why did it why why did the bone bone chicken not cross the um You don't know. Because we didn't have enough guts. <laughs> They're funny you guys, leave them alone. Don't beat them up or anything. They're funny. Avoid. To use avoid, you simply. Avoid places where the bully hangs out. Join with others on the playground rather than being alone. Remember, avoiding a bully does not make you a wimp or afraid. It just means that you know how to stop a bully situation. Hey, I wonder how the group will use avoid to stop a bully situation. basketball in your dreams. Self-talk. Self-talk means you use positive self-talk to maintain your good self-esteem during your bully situation. Self-esteem is the way you feel about yourself. It's easy to use self-talk and it really makes you feel good. First off, you must 1. Think positive statements about yourself and your accomplishments. 2. Rehearse positive self-talk to avoid being hooked by the bully. An example of self-talk is when you think to yourself things like, it's his problem. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I know I'm a good basketball player. Hmm, let's see the self-talk in action. You don't know how to do anything. You're so short, you don't know how to do... You don't even know how to Dale, play basketball. You Dale, you self-talk. Dale, you think you're cool. You're not. Be cool. Don't listen to Dale. Don't listen to Dale. I don't know. That's a dumb, dumb song. song. Well, what do you want us to listen to? Little Chris. Own it. Own it means that you literally own the put down in order to defuse it. You use this instead of being defensive with the bully. Now, how do you own a put down? Well, first you must agree with what the bully has said and then leave the situation. An example of this is when someone says, hey, that's an ugly shirt. Well, you can agree with them and defuse the situation by saying, Yeah, I know, but my mom bought it for me and I don't want her to feel bad if I don't wear it. Now, let's see how a group uses Own It to stop a bully situation. 
Let's go back, back to the beginning, back to when That's a dumb song. It may be dumb, but it makes my friends laugh. Well, we don't like it. Well, tough, because since it's recess, we can sing whatever we want. So it's no, still dumb. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Let the rain fall down and wreck my dreams. Are you a victim or a bully helper? Did you know that 85% of a school's population is what they call the silent majority? A silent majority is where you get so used to being bullied at your school that over time you feel you can do nothing about it and come off as just not seeming to care. Eventually, students do nothing when someone is being hurt. Why don't students get involved when others are being hurt? Well, here's your answers. Fear of either being bullied themselves or they don't know what to do. Afraid they will make things worse. Worry about not fitting in. Don't believe that all adults will help. Here are some simple tips to not be a bully helper. Stop rumors. Don't listen to them, don't spread them, and don't participate in them. Don't pass on a hurtful note. Just throw it away. Speak up to a bully. An example of this is simply saying, we don't do that here. Ask someone new at your school or join you for lunch. Say hi to a new student or someone you don't know very well. If a kid is being bullied or the kid is new, include them in your activities. Join up with someone who is being bothered and take them out of the situation. Let adults know if someone needs help. Well, now you have all the secrets on how you as students can make your school safer. Let's face it, by choosing to take a stand in positive ways and using haha, -ha so you and your classmates can make your school safer. You all can feel safe to come to school and it starts to learn other ways to be cool. Now you know what to do. Let's see what you as a school decide to do. Remember, a group of kids working together can make a difference. Be bully free!